Hello everybody and welcome back and today we're going to be I'm actually I'm going to show you how to build a Dutch Bros in Minecraft. So I've built the Tesla factory, the Tesla dealership, but I have never showed you how to build a Dutch Bros. And yes, Dutch Bros is from the Nether and I gotta love those voice cracks. I don't know, lately I've been having them. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, so here's how the layout is going to be. So twelve blocks. So it's going to be nine blocks wide on the main building, twelve blocks long, and for the main and the cover height is going to be six blocks tall, and for the cover is going to be four blocks wide, six blocks long, and what you're going to need is gray concrete, blue concrete, well light gray concrete, blue concrete, white concrete. A block of your choice, another block of your choice, oak trap door, glass, oak fence, and a flag, of course. Which is just the banner and all this. No mods included. Alrighty. So, first we're going to have the white concrete. So, you're going to have to place it. So, let's just place it randomly, okay? And we go to the right. We go to the right, nine. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then once you're done with that, you come out one on the end and another one on the end. And then you go down 12. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then after that, you can just make it a square. Okay, just make it one big square. Then after that, you come to right behind, so let's go right here, right behind the last block in the front, and go over five. So one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, you place it. And then you go five over. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Now you have five. And you do the same thing on the other side. And I put markers just so it's easier and makes the video continue. Okay? Okay, there you go. Now you have the foundry of Dutch Bros. Next, you're going to use your light gray concrete, and you're going to um, put it on the sides of it. So on the front, right here, put one right there, put one right there, and then you're just going to uh, put a one big line of light gray concrete at the end. Okay, there we go. Next, you're going to get your glass, and then you're going to put it right next to that gray concrete. So one, and one. So on the ends, right? And then, you're going to put it un put another one on it. Okay? Pretty simple? Cool. And then, one right over. You're going to put one, two, and then skip block, one, two. The difference is, you're going to put one in the middle, right there. Cool? Make sense? Awesome. Okay, next we're going to put um, the same thing on this side for the drive through windows. So, one, two, and then skip two, then one, one, two, and just place it over. There you go. And do the same thing on this side. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Cool. And next we're going to use that gray concrete and fill in everything else. So, just fill it in. Awesome. Let's fill it in. All right. Make sure it looks good. Cool. Okay. And then we're just going to go and just put it on all the way. So right, right now we're at four. So we want it to be six high. Okay. So we're going six high. So that's four. That's This is five. Okay. We're doing five. And six. Cool. There we go. Now you got the basically the main. Okay. Next, we're gonna put the oak trap doors. So if we go inside, we go right. We go at the windows where the openings are, and you just place them down. So they make they make it look like um, basically serving windows. Okay. 
There we go. And then we're going to use that blue concrete you have, and we're just going to build pillars going all the way up. Um, it's going to be one block up, so one block higher. There we go. And do the same exact thing right there. Cool. Next, we are going to build pillars right here. So up and over and down. Cool. And then we're going to fill this in right here, make it look nice right to the top. Awesome. See it cuts off right here. Make sure there's one line gray. Make sure it looks make sure it looks good. And then we're just going to do the same thing right there. Actually, nah. I don't think we're going to do it right there. All right. You could choose. It's up to you. And we do the same thing again. So we go up. So we go up seven. Then over. And you just stop right here. And this one you just add six. Um, and then there you go. Now it's even. And then next we cut it off right there. Okay. There we go. Cool beans. And then right here we're just going to fill this top in. Make sure it looks nice and pretty. Yes, I use the word pretty. Judge me. And do the same thing on the side. Excellent, excellent. Okay, cool. There we go. Now you got the drive through slots. Next, though, is time for the lights. So, we're just going to add one layer. So, right on the bottom, we're going to add a layer. Okay, and we're just going to do the same side. Just going to add it, make it look good. Okay, there we go. Nope, did not go out. Sorry, horrible controls. Awesome. Cool. Next, we're going to go in and we're going to add lines. So one, two. Okay, here we go. Then again, one, two. And then what you're going to need is some um, is a block of your choice. I like using sea lanterns because to me they look more industrial, like light bars, if that makes sense. So we're just going to do that. Cool. Awesome. And then we go on the top and we do the same exact thing inside. So another block of your choice. In my case, we're just going to be doing this. Okay, and you're still going to need that gray concrete. Cool. So we just do this. Make it look professional, if you know what I mean. Alrighty. And then you just cover the roof with some blue concrete. Awesome. And then next, to make it look good, we're just going to add it, make it look like that. Make it look like it's a little hangover, I guess, or a little overbeam or whatever. Cool. So there's the back, and here's the front. Looking pretty good, right? All right. Next thing we're going to build is the logo. See, now the logo is like this. So it goes two, then one, then three, then one, then one and then one zero one okay Let's try to keep up so basically we're gonna start right down in the window okay so we're gonna do one two one and then we're gonna do three then one again and then up no you don't delete that one and then there you go there's the logo and now it's time for the roof so next we're going to basically make the roof so one two three four five six seven and then we're going to go down to basically five and then three cool make sense actually you know what we're just gonna do that cool you guys can choose to make the roof taller if you want it to see that one has it like this and if you put three on it it just covers it so that's up to you. It's your choice. Um, that one's not really a big deal. And then on this side, the exact same thing. So we put seven down. Cool. And then 
we attach them. Okay, there we go. Amazing. Alrighty, it's looking good. Cool. And now we have the basic Dutch Bros. Now it's up to you guys if you guys want um, another logo. Um, you don't have to, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, on mine, I don't. It just makes it look good. Okay, so there's basically the Dutch Bros. Next we get your oak fence and then we go up five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you get your flags and you can stick one. I like sticking on them all on all sides. And then you go over here to the next side, do the same exact thing. Same exact thing. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there we go. There's five. And then what I usually use is it's up to you. I like lanterns, so I put lanterns on the top. So there we go. And there we go. Now you got your Dutch Bros. Now if you guys want it to make it look better, um, you guys can. So what I usually do in the middle is add some white concrete right in between. Okay, see? White concrete. And there you go. Now you got your Dutch Bros. Now you guys can do the interior however you want. You guys can use um, the block of your choice. See, I usually carve this out and you guys can make it as whatever you want. Um, but, like, I usually use black concrete because it looks like the road. So you just basically clear it out um, and basically put some uh, some black concrete on it, which is uh, makes it look like a drive through Cool. Now I'll do that on both sides. Excuse me, cow. Move, cow. Nobody likes you. Move. That ain't cow restaurant. It ain't a steakhouse. Alrighty. So we're just putting in the block of your choice. Alright, there we go. And now we use... I like using stone. Looks more professional. Let me kill this cow. Peter, don't call me. So then, we do this. And basically, I'm just clearing it out. Making it look good, right? So, here we are. Basically the ordering window. And then, if you guys want to, you guys can use the white concrete to make your own little area. I usually make it look like a garden. So, basically, you guys can use flowers or whatever. Your choice. So, I put flowers, make it look good. And, yeah, there you go. Okay, now on the back, you do the same exact thing. Basically, block of your choice. You just met, you just basically rip it up, and you put it down. Alrighty. Next, we're going to get door of your choice, but it doesn't matter. And now we have a door. Okay. Now inside, here's what I do. I usually clear it out, and um, basically I put it in stone, which makes it look more industrial. Um, yeah, you, you get what I mean. So I do all this and I just place it in. Make it look cool. See, where I live, Dutch Bros is the number one drinking place. Like, more for coffees, teas, all that. Um, but yeah, this is where Dutch Bros is usually at. Okay, and then um, sometimes I build shelves or whatever. Um, in this case, I'm just going to make basically a big wall area, I guess. And then you guys can use whatever. I usually use white concrete. Makes it look better. Cool. And then next, we're going to get some awesome brewing stands because there's no coffee in Minecraft. So, you know, you got to improvise. So we got some coffee machines on all sides cool so here's the coffee machines where you basically make everything right so in here we're just going to basically cut this close this off right here and this is going to be the employee bathroom 
if that makes sense. It should make sense. Actually, mm, here, let me move the door. You guys can put the door whatever, wherever you want. Um, I try to make it so it's in the most convenient spot. Um, and sometimes it takes a while uh, for me to move it around. But uh, that's up to you guys. So next, we're going to cut this off. Excuse me. One want everything to uh, to match, so we're just gonna do this, and here we go. Now we have an employee bathroom. Okay, cool. So everyone can wash their hands, and um, I basically just um, get a cauldron, a water bucket, I get a lever, and I get a button. And I get the end portal if I can find it. Uh, it's probably right in front of my face, which is funny. Okay. So next we have... There we go. And then why not? We'll put it right next to it. Okay. There you go. There's your bathroom. Easy. Done. Fast. Then over here, I usually use shulker boxes. Again, look like um, industrial shelves. They're just easier and on top of that if you guys have anything in them you can uh, basically just put it in you guys can basically break them and duplicate them that's what I do that's why I love shulker boxes and there you go now you have your Dutch Bros so yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe this is one of the easiest builds honestly uh, you guys can change it up however you want this is one of the best universal ones but, uh, yeah, I haven't seen anyone make Dutch Bros in Minecraft, and, uh, yeah, now we do. Anyway, guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and stick around for more amazing builds, Minecraft, um, I do tech reviews, vlogs, whatever. Either way, you guys will enjoy it. I promise you that. And on top of that, we upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Anyway, guys, see you guys in another video. Peace out.